Report is a powerful tool for those looking to understand how their research idea fits into NIH's grant portfolio. Let me take you through an example. Let's say I'm interested in obesity research. I might want to look at what NIH plans are for obesity research in the upcoming one, five, ten years from now. So I'm going to look in reports to find a strategic plan associated with either obesity research or possibly the institute that I think might fund obesity research. So here I find a strategic plan, and you'll see the kinds of things it'll tell you. The research opportunities right here are highlighted even without looking at the plan itself. So after looking at the strategic plan, I might want to look more specifically at what NIH is currently funding now in obesity research. Reporter is a repository of NIH-funded research projects. So now you're on the reporter query screen. And for my example, you know I'm interested in obesity. So obesity is going to be one of my search terms. I'm going to need to narrow that down some. And so I'm going to say genetic, because I'm interested in the genetic underpinnings of obesity. You'll see that this text search uses Boolean logic. These are going to be connected by an AND statement right now. If I needed to use a NOT statement, I could do that as well. The other thing I want to look at is the fiscal year. So for this, I'm picking all active projects, because that makes the most sense for what I'm looking for. I'm submitting the query, and it's going to take a moment for the query to come up because of the number of records. So this is my results screen. It's showing that I have over 1,600 projects that match my query of obesity and genetic. And you'll see there's lots of information associated with this screen. One of the first things I always like to look at is who the funding institutes are who are interested in this area of research. I could certainly scroll through the 1,600 to find out, but there's a nifty difty tool, Data and Visualize, that tells me with a click who the major funders are. Not surprisingly, NIDDK, Digestive and Kidney Diseases, is one of the highest, but there's other ones that might be a little bit more surprising. So the National Institute on Environmental Health Sciences, for example, and you might be interested in exploring a little bit about what the different types of grants they fund are. So you can always click on the projects to drill down. Now if I go back to my hit screen, I want to explore the projects more in depth to see if I can really find something that resonates with my area of research. For example, I'm going to look at intestinal fat absorption. And here I see a project. By clicking on the title, I see I can read the abstract text. And I can evaluate whether or not this project is in the same realm as mine. I think, hmm, I really like this one. So I can find out more. If I go to the details screen, this is going to give me all kinds of information. It's going to be the contact principal investigator, wonderful resource for finding collaborators who are, have already have NIH funding, are experienced. You can find the NIH program official. This is the person who's responsible for this portfolio at NIH. So you can get directly to the person who knows uh, about NIH's interest in your area of research and who can help provide you valuable advice. What else could I find? I can find the study section information. This is the study section that scored this application well enough that the institute decided to fund it. You can usually find the funding opportunity announcement information. So you could go back and find the same funding opportunity announcement or find other projects that were funded by this opportunity announcement. There's one other thing that I'd like to point out here. You can also, if this is really getting into your area of interest, you can find similar projects. And the system is going to use a more sophisticated algorithm to identify the similar projects to this one. And so it'll allow you to drill down even more in depth into this area. There's a whole lot of information up here in Reporter. I encourage you to go explore. I wouldn't want to ruin your fun by giving away too much in this video.